Hello, my name is Cozy Cloud. I'm a helper at OneShot MC. Welcome to the first of many camera tutorials. Just to start off, we will be covering boosters. Here's an example of why using a booster is necessary. As you can see, without a booster, this TNT, called our scatter, doesn't travel very far. However, with a booster to compress our power, our scatter is able to travel much farther. As you can see, without a booster, the power isn't getting compressed, which means most of the TNT's potential energy is wasted. With a booster, the TNT compresses right next to the scatter, which offers the most amount of exposure. Not all boosters are made equal. The booster used in this example, which could also be seen here, is used for smaller cannons and can only compress TNT 7 blocks away from it. It's technically 8, but for aesthetic reasons, we won't count the gap between the booster and the power. The next two boosters I like to call expanded boosters. Despite looking a little different, they both compress TNT 18 blocks away and are good for most applications but shouldn't be used much on automatic cannons. Next, we have a 4 long infinite booster and a 5 long infinite booster. The first one compresses TNT 14 blocks away and the second 20 blocks away. It can be extended basically infinitely by simply adding on more sections of dispensers. This type of booster is super fast as mostly seen in sand compressors and automatic cannons. Lastly, here's an example of what can block TNT exposure. The schematics will be left in the description for you to download. Let me know in the comments section what you'd like to see next or if I messed anything up or forgot something. Also, tell me whether you prefer voiceovers or regular commentary. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.